I understand this guy is butthurt. I understand this guy's upset because I sent a lot of hate to his channel because, oh, guess what? That's kind of what happens when you abuse horses. I mean, if this guy literally had any valid points, any sort of redemption, he would have sat down and reacted to the video that I specifically made about him and his supposed training. But he didn't because he had no defense because he knows that what he did was wrong. Welcome back, you guys, to another Raleigh reacts to people who suck. <laughs> oh my god. I just did a live stream and it was made aware to me that homie, the Black Country Edition, uh, responded to the video that I made. You riding my horse called cocaine today, man. But wait. He actually didn't. He literally did not respond to the video that I made trashing him and his training abilities because he literally couldn't even defend himself, like, at all. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I just want to react to it, dude. I really want to see what he has to say about me. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. First of all, <laughs> the video is titled Raleigh Link 14 Hates Clinton Anderson, people who not to listen to about training horses. You? <laughs> like, what? He's still not all the way broken yet, but we will break you down, boy. Boy? You're not even addressing the video I made about you. That's literally all the points I made was in that video about you totally straight up abusing and neglecting a horse. Hit him, Clebo. I hit him so he can go. Cut him across there. Cut him across there. If he bites, you bite him back. If he raw, if he raw up, make him break his legs. What's even better is he has like a giveaway instruction in the comment section on like like this video to try to get more likes. He disabled the likes and dislikes and he's been filtering the comment section, deleting all of the negative comments and only leaving up the ones that are like trashing me and defending him. Ugh, whether you like it or not, here's Pootie. I'm gonna do a reaction video for y'all to show you guys. Actually, never watched this person, but <laughs> let me let's get straight to it. I'm gonna just show y'all. Let's get straight to it, okay? <laughs> show y'all to not watch this person. <laughs> I would rather see you react to my videos than train a horse any day, okay? I'm here for it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video, to another Raleigh Reacts video. If you guys are new to my Her channel, these Raleigh are videos Reacts. that I do every Wednesday. No, bitch, my name's not Raleigh Reacts, but it should be. Saturday of me reacting to animal abuse, but it can typically be anything. If you would like to send in a video for me to react to, my email is RaleighReacts at G gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below so guys all right bitch like you don't have to watch my whole intro you can like skip some shit or cut some shit out like i know it's your first reaction video but we don't have to just watch me because i know i'm gorgeous these people are not bad people they just do bad things so am i in any way telling you guys to go hate on these people send them death threats or anything like that absolutely not which is why i don't think these videos <laughs> 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 zoomed in on my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the best, dude. I love myself. Come on, Pootie. We gotta hear what you have to say. It's not a dog peeking over the fence. It's a horse. Wait, do people, like, keep their fucking horses in their backyard here? Why are you worried? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> there it is. And here's our little the thing is, my old Raleigh Reacts videos, before I even get into this, 
They were definitely hyped up and exaggerated for attention and views. I mean, I definitely stood by the overall message, but a lot of the videos that I react to, I overhyped them and exaggerated them because it was more entertaining for people to watch. In regards to what you just said, like, why is it my business? I think it's anybody's business to make sure that horses are well treated. Your horses are severely malnourished and underweight. Like, you think people shouldn't be concerned about that? Make him get wild. He gonna get tired of doing it. He gonna get tired of doing it. Yeah, you think they shouldn't be concerned about that because you treat your horses like that, so. Oh, you fucking assholes. Oh my God. This is a perfect hold example up, hold up, hold of up, hold idiot up, equestrians. Pause, pause, pause. Y'all listen to this, this woman. Do y'all hear how she's talking? Like, that's so unprofessional. Like, who, y'all let y'all children listen to this? Come on now. Gotta be more professional than that. I can't listen to nobody that's unprofessional. Come on now. I can't listen to nobody that's unprofessional. Meanwhile, this was me. We'll be riding my horse called cocaine today, man. <laughs> Oh, the hypocrisy. My videos are not designed to be professional. They're designed to be funny. My whole point with these videos is it's literally just my opinion. It's literally not even factual based. It's just my opinion on videos I'm watching. It has nothing to do with professionalism. That think that they're above the law or better than other fucking people so they don't wait, have to follow wait, the rules. Wait, wait. Obviously, you think you're better than everybody else. Come on now. I see you look good. You look good. I ain't gonna, I give it to you. You look good. But your heart is what's ugly. You think you're, you're, you're think we're right here and you think you're above. Why can't we all just be equal? I mean, honey, I am a little narcissistic and I do freely admit to that. However, um, I treat people with respect and equality when they deserve it. I don't treat people like you with respect when you literally abused a horse on camera. Hit him, Clebo! This is my biggest problem with this guy. Like, he's reacting to an irrelevant situation. I would have much rather preferred him to react to the points and the video that I made against him showcasing the animal abuse that he does. He literally has no defense for anything I said because he knows he's wrong. Come on now, that's so unprofessional and y'all listen to this? Y'all watch this? Come on now, y'all gotta do better than that. <sighs> But yet people watch you and you do this. If he roll, if he roll up, make him break his legs. You people are the reason why society makes laws more strict and says that you can't have horses here. We're gonna make it illegal for you to ride your horses on the roads and shit. It's because of you guys, because you guys don't fucking follow the rules and then it makes all of us look bad and then they harp on equestrians and then we're the ones who have to pay for your stupid decisions. Bro, do y'all hear this creature? Do y'all, do y'all hear this creature? She said us people. <laughs> us people. Tell me how professional is that? I totally agree with what I said. Like, in all honesty, I like taking my horse places. I like going on trail rides. I think it's perfectly fine to take your horse in public to public places. However, there are laws that you have to follow. And when people don't follow the laws, then they make the laws more strict. <laughs> I fucking can't. Okay. <laughs> Let's take the abuse factor out of it because if you guys want to know why this clip is abusive, I will link a video down below that I made specifically on this topic on people who are too big to ride horses. I made an entire video covering it so that way I wouldn't have to repeat myself. Wait, 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 I wanna hear what he has to say. I literally want to hear how he's going to defend actual veterinary studies against weight limits. <laughs> People that are too big to ride horses. <sighs> you 
Y'all, man, I can't even take people serious right now. <laughs> I just, I just love that he's like, <laughs> like there's legitimate studies and veterinary data to back people being too big for horses. There's people who know nothing about horses and even know that there's a weight limit for riding. Okay, like that's just the fact that you don't know that just again proves my point. Yeah, I'll watch that though. Proceed. This dude keeps pausing my video and he literally has like no points. This guy has not produced one valid point or refutable evidence to anything I've said. He literally is just being like, y'all hear this? Y'all hear that? Y'all agree with this? Yeah, bitch, they do. <laughs> Pause one more time. I'm sorry, I apologize. In one of her last videos, she was just talking about it doesn't matter what size horses are, it doesn't matter what 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 kind of horse it is, quarter, Tennessee, none of that, it don't matter. They all carry the same weight. So are you lying? Oh no, no, honey. I did not say that, and I've never said that in my life. I think that a person of any size, and I will say it again, can ride a horse as long as you find a horse that can appropriately carry you. This is not like an anti-fat or fat shaming thing. This is just a anti-abuse thing where you should find a horse that can appropriately carry your weight. Now you want to talk about how someone could be too big for a horse? Come on now. I've literally always talked about it, so you clearly haven't watched my videos. I know the real. Trust me, I know the real. You don't know the stuff you're talking about. You just go off of what other people say. And then when you listen to this person, listen to this person, then you confusing, you forming, man, come on now. <laughs> Halfway through this video and he hasn't even like formed an actual like coherent argument to go against what I've said. It's just absolutely hilarious. He's like, you're listening to all these people. Yeah, veterinarians, peer reviewed studies, <laughs> those people. <laughs> I know the real. What, it, what? <laughs> What is it then? Tell me the real. You're literally just sitting there saying, I know the real, like explain it. Most horses, if they show any kind of aggressive tendencies, usually you can nip it right in the butt. But Jack, Jack's special. He, uh, he's in a class of his own. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. The fact that they had the dramatic music and this bitch obviously has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. Oh my God. Man, do y'all hear this, bro? He didn't even get the joke. <laughs> I literally, when I said this bitch doesn't even know what she's talking about, I put her face on my face. Like as if I don't know what I'm talking, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Are you serious? <laughs> she laugh at stuff she don't need to laugh at. <laughs> <laughs> like this dude is just grasping so hard. He's trying to like find any little thing to trash me because he can't actually come up with a valid argument. God, like it's people like you that give horses a bad name because you're the type of people who believe horses are dangerous and shit. There's no such thing as a dangerous horse. There but you're acting like <sighs> nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing to say. Straight away, now ask you to speak to me. Boy, fuck. Move those feet. I want to point out that that Clinton Anderson video got like a ton of hate before I even made my video on it. So I just want to point out that the vast majority of people actually agree with me that he was way too harsh and way too over the top with his training method. That's all I'm going to say. When I say move, you better move now. Once you've got a horse that's aggressive, you better start thinking about how you're going to correct that pretty quickly. Exactly. No, <laughs> like, of course this guy agrees with Clinton Anderson's training method. Clinton Anderson's literally in there whipping a horse that's not even really aggressive. And this guy was whipping a horse that wasn't aggressive at all. So he's literally just finding somebody to validate his abusive training method. I don't even know why you're making that face. He is telling the truth. The man is not even hitting the horse. Dude, he literally 
like admitted to whipping the horse in the video. Like he admitted it. He said to people that he whipped the horse. One good whack is better than a thousand little taps. If you're gonna get in there and spank one's butt, get in there and get the job done and be done with it at that point. She don't know what she is talking about and I kinda don't wanna hear what she's about to say, but. But you gotta. This video is for y'all, so I'm gonna let y'all listen to what she have to say, but if a horse is aggressive, you have to take control at some point. You can't just let the horse always think it has the upper hand. You're not even listening to what I have to say though, because I fully agree that you have to take charge over aggressive horse, but it's like fighting fire with fire. You cannot fight an aggressive horse by also being aggressive. There's plenty of videos. Buck Brenneman's great. Uh, there's a few other trainers. Uh, Pat Pirelli is also great at training horses that are very aggressive in like really awesome ways that are non-abusive. So I recommend going and watching either one of them, but like, like you don't fight fire with fire, you'll lose. So the idea is that we have to be as gentle as we can. We should be as gentle as we can and as firm as necessary. But we have to learn to get firm without getting mean or mad. And we have to learn how to be gentle without being a big sook. In other words, we've got to be objective and not emotional. If the speed, speed limit is 65 miles an hour and if you get on at about 70, 70, you're within a range. People are like, yeah, okay, come on, let's go. But if you come on there at 90 miles an hour and come up the right side of people and scare the heck out of them, oh, they're going to be, oh, that sucker, what's he doing? Just as bad if Mr. Magoo comes on at 35 miles an hour, but, 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 never, ah! see, that's not any better. There's this thing called the extreme middle of the road. So to me, learning how to be assertive is somewhere between being aggressive and being a wimp. So we should expect a lot, accept a little, reward often. You can't be soft 100% of the time. Come on now. Let, let's hear what she have to say. Once you have a horse that's aggressive, bro, he's not showing any signs of aggression right here. But holy fuck, I think... He's not showing any signs because now he's having the upper power now. No, no. The, here's the thing. The horse that Clinton Anderson trained in that video, the reason why everybody had a problem with his training method is because that horse wasn't actually an aggressive horse. He is definitely not hitting him with the whip. One good whack is better than a thousand little taps. He is definitely not hitting him with the whip. If you're gonna get in there and spank one's butt, get in there and get the job done and be done with it at that point. It's, he's only using a whip to make a sound. The sound effect kinda triggers the horse. So why would you think he's hitting the horse if you're not even there to witness it? Like, come on now. He's sitting there saying Clinton Anderson isn't hitting the horse. You hit your horse. You, you hit your horse multiple times. Was that just for sound effect? Or, or what was that for? I, I'd really like to know what that was for. Hit him, Clebo. I hit him so he could go. Cut him. Cut him across there. It's, he's only using a whip to make a sound. Hit him, Clebo. You gotta do better than that. You can't, you can't make other people look bad if you don't have all your facts straight, right? Come on now. You can't make other people look bad if you don't have all your facts straight, right? I don't want to keep reacting to him because A, he's like literally not bringing up any points about me at all. He's literally just, let, let's, you know what, let's skip through to the end because he's, he's not saying anything of validity. Her voice aggravating, everything is aggravating, her opinions are irrelevant. <laughs> like, come on now, y'all watch this one, man. Man, Clint Anderson, if you watch a man, keep doing what you do. Because you still have way more people watching you than people watching her. So keep doing your thing, man. I will continue to watch you, Clinton. Dude, Clinton Anderson does not support this guy, honestly. You can sit there and you can say, oh, you know, Clinton Anderson, keep doing you. I guarantee you if Clinton Anderson saw this video of your supposed training slash horse abuse, he definitely wouldn't agree with you at all. Y'all watch this girl really like, she don't know what she's talking about. Like he literally wasn't saying anything of validity at all. He wasn't disputing any of my arguments. I understand this guy is butthurt. I understand understand this guy's upset because I sent 
sent a lot of hate to his channel because, oh, guess what? That's kind of what happens when you abuse horses. I mean, if this guy literally had any valid points, any sort of redemption, he would have sat down and reacted to the video that I specifically made about him and his supposed training. But he didn't because he had no defense because he knows that what he did was wrong. And I just think it's absolutely Ugh, great that he's literally sitting there being like, Clinton Anderson, like, keep doing you, man. I'll keep supporting you. Clinton Anderson doesn't support you, and I guarantee you that. Like, you're 20 million times more abusive than Clinton Anderson. Do you not remember how badly you wrecked this horse and how underweight this horse was? Sure, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna call me annoying. You're gonna, you know, say all this negative shit, except he said I was pretty and I accept that honestly because I am. I'm just kidding once again because you can't seem to take a joke. You can sit there and you can say all the things you want to about me and that's totally fine but what you're not addressing are the actual valid arguments that I raised against you and your horse abuse that you openly showcased on the internet that everybody disagreed with. So you can go through and you can filter your comment section all you want. You can disable the likes and dislikes all you want but until you actually sit down and fucking address everything I said about you in the video I made and all the valid points I made, you're never gonna get anywhere. You literally said, if he rears, I want you to break his legs. If he roll, if he roll up, make him break his legs. And this is a guy who supposedly knows how to train horses and cares about the well-being of his animals. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. This is my Hey Bitch hat. You can pick those up down below. I hope you guys love this video. Thank you so much, Pute, for responding and reacting to me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wish you nothing but the worst. And to everybody else who loves me and supports me, I love you guys. You're the best, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.